Hey there. <laughs> you know, you look awfully uh, a lot like the slaughterhouse guy. Uh, what do you mean? I, I am the slaughterhouse guy. What are you talking about? Oh, that would explain a lot. <laughs> Tell us, uh, first introduce yourself. Trig Biggs down here at the, at the haunt, right in the middle of the slaughterhouse. Now, I went to the haunt in October, but this is not that haunt, but we walked through it. Tell me what's going on. Well, this is one small space inside of our massive, terrifying attraction. And this, this is what we call the haunt. This is actually uh, the old uh, hangout of ZL Biggs, which is the patriarch of our little family down there. And uh, so, yeah, we dusted off the, the shelves, you know, so to speak. And uh, we're pouring drinks now. So the slaughterhouse has the haunt, which is a speakeasy. That uh, you could call it that. Okay. I mean, it's it's uh, he's, he, as easy to speak in here as it is anywhere else. Especially when we get these uh, these juices flowing, if you know what I mean. Okay. And so you have a full bar of all kinds of exotic, interesting drinks that are all what a hundred dollars a piece. <laughs> Well, we, we like to be accessible uh, in all ways, not just ADA, but, you know, you bring the wheelchair down, too. But, yeah, we got everything from, uh, you know, a $6 mixed drink to our signature cocktails, which will run you, you know, just about 10 bucks, uh, all the way up to single malt scotch from around all the regions of uh, the, the mighty homeland. Okay, so we're not talking a dive bar here. I mean, you could dive in if you want. I would prefer you do, actually. Now, I'm a, belly flop. I'm a sucker for um, specialty beverages, and your menu appears to be nothing but specialty beverages. We've got everything from the wolf man, if you want something a little stiffer, uh, to the uh, the bride. The bride's blackberry jam champagne kind of affair. So uh, everything's got a little something funny in it as well. Uh, I mean... This is the slaughterhouse, after all. Uh, but uh, yeah, we got we got uh, anything that might fit your fancy. You you imagine it, and we'll pour it into a cup. Now I notice you have lousy housekeeping because of all the spider webs, but amazing set decorations. Uh, when did this project begin? Well, I mean, you could consider them decorations, but this is just a gaggle of our uh, empire and the the uh, the tatters of what once was of the bigs so uh yeah it's all natural what was the question again you know what we'll uh, just skip past that <laughs> i noticed there's a big hole in the wall a big gaping hole in the wall and if you go through it now over there oh uh, yeah you you have a pool you even have a pool table but i'm questioning your light fixture well uh yeah we've had the electrician out several times but there seems to be some weather uh, in the other room. Uh, it's a bit inclement, if you will. So, yeah, makes a makes a game of, of sticks a, a little more challenging than the, than the, than the regular room, I suppose. I, I think that's true. And you've got a beautiful uh, old organ behind you, which seems to have a smoking problem. <laughs> we told it to quit years ago, but uh, here we are. What are you going to do? Okay, so for folks that are curious, where is this and what do they need to do to come here? Well, it's uh, just nestled right down in the belly of the beast down here at under 500 locusts. And if you've ever been to the slaughterhouse, well, you know you come in through the exit door to get to the haunt. If you've never been here, it's basically right off 5th Street, about 5th and Locust. You'll see a little illuminated skull hangs off the side of the building. It may be one color or the other, and uh, that may indicate certain things, but you'll have to pay attention to figure that out. That's how you get on in. Just come down the stairs, and uh, we'll see you here. All right. Plenty of seating, plenty of interesting drinks, and a pool table. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you about got it. <laughs> and uh, so many other things, but I'm going to leave some of it up to your imagination. Now, right. just to uh, just to your uh, right there, you'll see a, a little stage as well. You can imagine we might be getting into some tomfoolery before too long. Everybody likes some tomfoolery. <laughs> and um, I know you've only started opening this up to the public recently. What is uh, the popular item that everybody should try when they come down here? Well, uh, we got drinks, uh, family recipes that are after our namesakes. Uh, you can try the Trig, which is a classic Sazerac. 
with a, a twist. So we do an absinthe rinse, but why throw out the good stuff? We leave the absinthe in the bottom of the cup and twist it with orange instead of lemon. Because, you know, just a little sweeter here. You can get yourself a lefty. You want a mean bite? You like the turkey? Grab that wild one by the neck and buckle up. Or you could have something a little more dainty. You could go with the puppy. Now, I'm not saying she's not a force to be reckoned with, but it's on the sweeter side. Kind of a French martini kind of guy. But you name it. We got all sorts. And when is this place open? We are open right now Fridays and Saturday nights to the general public. Uh, that's from about 5 p.m. until about 1.30 a.m. And uh, then we'll have other select nights for those who might be in the know. And uh, I think you know what I mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> so for those in the know, there might be some extra nights. Fantastic. To celebrate. Well, thank you much for your time. We look forward to seeing what you do with this place. Oh, we look forward to having you back. Thanks for coming down. You know, you look familiar. I don't recognize the hat, but I recognize you. Who's that? I re yes, you. Okay. I don't know who you are, though. You seem to be Lefty. Lefty Biggs, that's right. Lefty Biggs, and you are here outside of October at some other place. Yeah, yeah, I suppose this here is what they call the haunt. It's a bar. Now, we spoke about this a few weeks ago, and there's the haunt that we went through, then there's the other haunt, which is this. We did? We, we, we yes, we did. What was it? it? It was the speakeasy. The speakeasy? Where's that at? There, you know what? I think we're in it. Okay. Okay. This is a bad idea. Okay, so we are in the speakeasy, and you and Trig have opened it up to let us come in. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose so. And Where, What's that? Open the what? So if we come to the speakeasy, yeah. what should we be ordering, Lefty? If I was you and you come to the speakeasy, I'd probably order something to drink. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this. Yeah. I really don't. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get something to drink. So it is a bar. Yeah. And there are tons of specialty drinks on this bar. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And what do you think is the best drink on the bar? Uh, best drink on the bar? It's probably something with alcohol in it, I would suppose. Uh, if I was you, I'd get something with alcohol in it. But don't get, you can get soda pop, but I'd get something with the alcohol. That's, and that's just my suggestion. Yeah, that's pretty good. Katie, this is why I don't do this. All right, so tell us, uh, do you have a personal favorite drink? Oh, yeah. I'll get the lefty. Oh, what is the lefty? Lefty is uh, like a Manhattan, but if y'all had a, ever had a Manhattan, uh, but it's got Wild Turkey 101 in it, which is my favorite. It's my it's my favorite. I, I have that whenever I go out. I get the I get uh, Manhattan with Wild Turkey 101. It's got uh, spicy cherry bitters. It's got a uh, let's see here. It's got something else in it like vermouth or something, some kind of French thing, I suppose. I don't know. I just drink the hell out of it, and then I get in trouble, and then I go to the jail place. What were the police taking? Oh, my goodness. All right. So the haunt, the lefty, and anything else you want to say? Uh, yeah, I don't care much for robots. Uh, they, uh, I'm pretty much against that. And uh, I pretty much want to do, like, my next thing I'm going to do is, like, uh, a wheelbarrow full of nachos. That's probably what I was going to tell you. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Okay. Okay. Okay.